Hey guys, my name is Allison and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cut your bandana material um, to where you have absolutely nothing left over. So I do it a lot different than a lot of other people, so um, let's get started. So you're going to get yourself a couple yards of fabric, and I've just got one that I've already started cutting up here. And it is folded in half still, so I've got the folded end on my side. And you're going to start by pulling up a corner, taking it to the top. And then you're going to cut on top of everything so it all has your crinkly cut on it from the pinking shears. All right. And then we'll use this later. Then you're going to come back over here and cut this with your pinking shears. So once you've gotten all of your sides with pinking shears, this should fold out into a big square. I've already cut mine. So you're gonna open up your big square and then cut it down the middle so you have separate triangles. So this is pretty standard for your bandana making. And here's where it starts to get different. You're gonna take your separate pieces and you're going to fold it in half. To make a large bandana and an extra large bandana, you're going to cut from the middle of the folded end all the way to the end there. So by doing this, you're getting two bandanas out of normally what you'd get one. Then you're going to cut right here on the side of this bandana, and I'll show you why in a little bit. So there's your large and extra large bandana. So for your medium and small bandana, you're going to start the same way this in half but you're going to cut this in half so we have smaller triangles again so now you're going to take your smaller triangle fold it in half again and then same thing from here to the end so now you have a small and medium bandana okay so here's all the sizes that that makes for you you've got your extra large your large, your medium, and then your small. And remember that little slit we ended up cutting at the end? It's because you get that V in the neck, which allows the bandana to lay flat against the skin instead of flip up. All right, so remember that fabric we had left over? I'm going to show you what to do with it. So I'm going to cut off my ends. And then cut this in half here. And I'm going to just make little strips. I'm going to cut this in half. And then I'm going to cut this in half this way. You can use this leftover material to make bow ties and ties, which I'm going to show you. So for a tie, you just fold this top down, take a rubber band, you're going to crimp it, and put that rubber band around it. So once you get the rubber band around it, you just chop that off right there and chop that off right there and there you have your tie and the little loop we made the dog's collar just goes right through it and then to make a bow tie you're going to take the same fabric we had that was left over fold it fold it and then same thing like we did on the tie. You're just going to kind of crimp it together in the middle. Just like that. And then you're going to tie a rubber band around it. Just like that. And then you can attach that to the collar as well. So now you have no leftover material at all. You can make bow ties, ties. You can make all your bandanas you need, and all you need is some fabric, scissors, and rubber bands.
All right, guys, that's it. That's how I make bandanas, and I use all the material, so I have nothing left over. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram so you can stay up to date on all the new videos and everything that I'll be posting. Uh, see you all next week.